What's up everyone, Sebastian here and welcome to Life of Seb, the endless pursuit to self-actualization and that is what this channel is all about. If you're in Australia or planning on coming to Australia on a working holiday visa and you'd like to be in this country for more than one year, this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of my personal experience doing the regional work, as well as an overview of the working holiday visa and three reasons why you should and three reasons why you shouldn't do the regional work to see if it's the right decision for you. <laughs> so I did my regional work at a farm called Divine Ripe here in South Australia. It was mentally tough, it had long hours, but it ultimately contributed to my overall goal. Now, if you're on a working holiday visa in Australia, you're allowed to be in this country and work for up to one year, for up to six months with any one given employer. But that's not a problem, I've had around seven employers ever since I arrived to this country. But if you would like to extend your visa, you can do so by completing 88 days or three months of regional work. A working holiday visa is perfect for anybody that wants to travel, work to sustain their travel, and not have any ties to this country once you leave. There's a few reality checks I want to give you before you consider doing the regional work. Australia is big, Australia is expensive, and you never know where your travels are going to take you. Now there's a few factors to consider before making your decision, such as your situation and your goals. For example, have you seen everything you wanted to see in Australia? Are you pursuing a career in Australia? Your financial situation? Are you in a relationship with someone that is in Australia? Or do you want to pursue a long-term residency in the country? So here are three reasons why it's not necessary to do your farm work. You can see everything in Australia in one year if you plan it right. It is a big country, but you could buy a van, you could travel it, and you can work as you go. Now, if you're pursuing a career, a relationship, or long-term residency in the country, there are alternative options for you. There's partnership visas, there's sponsorship visas, and there's permanent residency as well. The last thing you need to consider why not to do your regional work is the amount of time gained versus the amount of time spent doing the regional work. Yes, you get an extra year, but you will be spending three months of your current year minimum working at a farm. And the reason why I say minimum is because you can do your work in a block of three months or 88 days straight, working 38 hours a week, meaning that is seven days of work, or you could do a few weeks here, a few weeks there, and once you have 88 days, you can then apply for your visa to get it extended. Now here's three reasons why doing your regional work may be the right option for you. It'll give you more time to see Australia if you haven't seen everything that you wanted to in your first year. If you're considering a residency and you're on the fence, you're between staying in the country or not long term, it could be a good option to work and live in the country without any commitments before you commit to a residency. The last reason is that doing regional work will provide you a steady income and some farms will offer you accommodation which will facilitate your trip in Australia during your first year even if you don't extend or choose to stay for a second year. For example, I earned over $10,000 in three months of work. Now, if you do decide to do your regional work, I want to leave you guys with a few tips. First, try to find a farm that will pay you hourly versus by weight or by bin. Working by weight or working by bin will depend on your performance versus being paid hourly. Although your performance will still be measured, if you have a day where you're not feeling too well, or if the season isn't too good, if it's too hot, it will be easier on you mentally because farm work in general is mentally and physically exhausting for someone that hasn't grown up doing that. My second tip is to always research the farm where you're going to be doing your work. Go online, look on forums, try to find videos, and try to find people's experiences that have been there before to try to understand the work culture that you're going to be involved in. Typically, the bigger the farm, the bigger the accountability with the government, the bigger the relationship with the government, the more audits and the more responsibility they have to take care of you. A third tip is to work in season. Typically, the best season to work in Australia if you're going to be doing the regional work is during summertime. During summertime, it's a great time to harvest crops and therefore a lot of farmers are looking for workers. My fourth tip is to work full-time hours. If you can manage to get 38 hours or more in one week, that will count as full-time work. Therefore, that will count as seven days of work rather than five. If you do your 38 hours in five days, that's two days that you get free, essentially, towards your visa. 
So you basically will be working less than 88 days within an 88 day period. My fifth tip is to live where you work. The reason why I say that is because I did my regional work an hour away from where I lived originally and I ended up moving halfway through because commuting was just too difficult. I was working six days a week, 12 hour days, and I had an hour commute there and an hour commute back. All in all, I had around three to four hours every day to clean, cook, take care of myself, go to the gym, shit shower and shave. So if you're gonna be working full time, you should be living where you work to increase the amount of free time that you have and keep your sanity. All right, last tip for you guys is to go out there with lots of positivity, socialize, make friends, because like I said, you never know where traveling is gonna take you. You never know who you're gonna meet and what opportunity is gonna open up. Who knows, you may meet someone that owns a farm or whose parents own a farm, which will facilitate your work here in Australia. I hope this video was helpful to you in helping you decide whether you should or shouldn't do your regional work. Please consider everything I've talked about as I've already done the regional work myself and I had to think about all of these things before making my decision. Again, ultimately everything will depend on your situation and your goals. For me, doing the regional work was the right decision to meet my goals with my relationship and staying in this country to travel more. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and follow me on Facebook at Life of Seb and on my website www.lifeofseb.com. Also guys, as you know, I am a photographer and I absolutely have a passion for photography. If you guys want to follow me at sebastian.lopez.photography on Instagram, take a picture of wherever you are in the world right now and hashtag it endless pursuit. I would love to see where you guys are watching from and share your experience with me. We're all in this together. We're all in the endless pursuit to making the best versions of ourselves. I hope to see you next time.